Hello. Okay. So today is my six month follow up. I thought I would do a little car vlog footage for you about it. Um, I'm headed there right now. I'm going to tell you guys how it went, but I'm also going to show you probably tomorrow morning, um, what my scar looks like right now and just kind of everything. Uh, I want to wait until tomorrow though, because I want to see what he says today. Uh, and then I want to kind of film it like first thing before like I work out, uh, cause I still get, I still get for sure swelling, uh, right after I work out. Um, I'll have that for probably the, up until the 12 month mark. I don't know. He'll tell me today, but yeah. So just for some kind of context, um, I feel good. I feel I've been working out a lot. I said this a lot lately because I've been filming like my what I eat in a day and my vlogs and that kind of stuff, like my weekly vlogs. So I've been stepping out my workouts and I've been doing some more core focused ones. So I definitely feel tight and I definitely still feel like a swelling. And when you feel swelling in like post-op, um, what that looks like, what like, physically what you see is kind of like a little baby gut. So you, it almost looks like it's coming back a little bit, which is really freaky, but it's okay. Um, so when you wake up in the morning, that's the best you look. And then by the end of the day, um, it's, it's definitely there, but I tend to work out a little bit earlier in the day, like not all the time, but I'm usually done by like one or two, 85% of the time. So I've got a little bit, um, but that'll fade, you know, I'm still only at six months, so it'll fade gradually. Um, yeah, so let's go. Let's go see what he has to say to me. Let's go see how I'm doing. Um, I want, I know there's a couple of things I know for a fact I need his feedback on because I, I have a dog ear. I think everybody on YouTube that's talked about this has a dog ear. Um, I just have one on my left side. So I want to see what the kind of stance is on revising that because um, I know he's going to have to do it. Uh, but I want to, I'll show you guys tomorrow, but I want to see, I'm really curious what his, what he says about that. Now that my dad's gone and I can actually like actually listen, you know, I want to see what he says. Um, and like do something about it and not just go, uh-huh. Okay. Um, but yeah, so I have thought about getting additional lipo on my back and my, I said this in my, uh, pre-op video, my prep video. I was thinking about getting my back and my uh, arms done, the top of my arms done, because that's where I have historically held the most weight. Um, and I have to be really careful with my back now. So I'm like, do I want to, like, do I want just the help in that area since I can't do, like, deadlifts or, you know, any, literally any of those, like, butt and back things. I can't do those. I have permanent mobility loss. So, like, I physically cannot do that. Um... So it's really limiting. So I was thinking like, well, maybe I could get lipo uh, there just to kind of help me kind of sculpt it out. Um, and I really don't think I'm gonna do it because I got it on the tops of my inner thighs, which granted is a really small part. Like I didn't get like my whole inner thigh done or anything like that, just that top part. I don't really see a difference. But on top of that, I definitely feel like a lot of weird numbness and stuff because when I shave my legs, like I can feel it or like when any, like, you know what I mean? Like whenever he like grabs my leg or whatever, like I can feel it sometimes and it's like, oh, I, I hate that feeling. So I don't really want that anywhere else on my body. Um, and then on top of that, I just, I don't think it was worth it, you know? And maybe it's because I just didn't have enough fat or, but I, I had enough to justify it, but I don't think I... I don't know. Like, I don't think I had enough that I wasn't actively doing something about, if that makes sense. Like, because I work out and because I do all of this, it just kind of looks how it did um, when I was working out a little bit more, you know? But I am working out more. So, like, that's kind of my thing, right? I can't figure out if there's value on it. Anyway, so I am not doing that. I had thought I had already gotten a consultation. I already got a quote and everything. And I really just don't think I'm going to do it. Um, I want to see what I can do through diet. And then maybe cool sculpting or M sculpt or something like that. I actually think that might be a better idea. Um, because it's more of a physical stimulant than it is like a fat removal. Um, cool sculpting is fat removal. But it's like fat kind of like disintegration it doesn't actually like vacuum it um m sculpt is a stimulant so i don't know we'll see so anyway long 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 story long let's go see what he has to say to me hi so update um i just went to my doctor and he told me i look really good i'll show you guys tomorrow um i'm gonna keep this really brief because i'm gonna show you guys tomorrow 
I look really good. I'm healing fine. Normal amounts of swelling. Um, my physical activity is like super indicative of that. That's totally normal and fine. Uh, my left side has a pronounced, not like pronounced, but like really noticeable dog ear like chub for lack of a better term. Um, but anyway, so he wants to do local lipo on that, but he said it'll only take like an hour and I'll be back on the bike within the week. He's like, your downtime's like a couple of days, which is awesome. So I'm like fine with that. Um, we are going to London though in next month, the end of next month. So I'm going to wait until we get back to do it because I asked him all about that just in terms of like overall recovery and and you know is there going to be a disproportionate amount of swelling on my left side versus my right because it's only on my left and he said no so he's like y you know it's like a normal thing but you're like 12 weeks so that's fine and totally manageable um especially for where i am in terms of my scar and stuff like i'm i can i'm happy to make that deal put it that way i'm happy with all of that so yeah so that's my update today good morning so it is Wednesday morning. Um, I went to, I just told you guys yesterday that I went to the doctor for my six month follow up. So I wanted to show you what I look like at six months. Um, I showed you guys in my prep and pre up, but just for like context, I showed you guys my prep and pre up video, what I was starting with. So I wanted to show you what I look like currently. So currently I look, I can like tuck this under my bra. I look like this. And you can tell it's also beginning of March because I am pale as shit, but like, this is what we're looking at. So you can kind of see, sorry, <laughs> you can kind of see that I've got like um, this line of definition and my obliques are starting to come in too. This is six months post-op i've also lost some weight not like a tremendous amount probably like eight pounds since the surgery um it kind of ranges eight to ten depending on the day uh, i'm also working out really hard so that's a thing this is what my scar currently looks like so i'm going to stop it right there because that is low um so if you wanted to know what a scar looks like there you go so it starts right here um, and then it goes, it's such a weird thing about the internet, and then it goes this way. So, um, uh, something to talk about, there's like a lot to unpack right here. So I have a dog ear right here, which is very common. Um, and why I waited to film this specific thing is because I wanted to see what his thoughts were on this because I knew we were going to do something about it. He's going to do a like targeted lipo on this, like a really small amount. What's interesting is that you can grab this, but you can't do it on this side. Like there's nothing, like it doesn't come. So he's gonna take this off and this is just because of whatever, right? Like every, this happens a lot. This is like, even if you watch other videos, like if literally a ton of people get this, so like it's fine. So he, we're gonna go in, that's a local thing though. So he's just gonna go in and locally remove that. I'll be done in like an hour. And then my recovery is nothing. He said, I'll be back on the bike within the week. So it's like so nowhere near as intense as this was. But just so you can kind of see, um, this is what we're looking like. This is what my belly button looks like. My belly button looks really good. He, I've got like the hood, which is important. And then he told me I just need to kind of like push on the bottom. You have to like massage your scar which is like easier to do like on your hip bone and that kind of stuff. But when you're on your bladder, <laughs> it's harder. So, you know, worth mentioning. Um, I still definitely have swelling. There's definitely numbness and swelling right here. You can tell when I stand like this, you can see that. So this is what I mean by um, don't freak out if you, especially if you work out. I work out every day right now. I'm literally doing um, a challenge for myself of just like how many days in a row can I go. Uh, but like this puff here, that's just swelling. That's not like gonna stick around. So you have to like chill out about that. And then something else worth mentioning is my muscles are right there. Like they're right there. So all of this is swelling and he, it's like very, very, very clear. This is only six months in, this will fade. So, but you can already see like this stuff coming out. Um, and he said, that's a really good sign. So if we're doing this at six months, we're doing great. And, um, at a year, hopefully I'll be, you know, done, 
but just so you know, just to give you like a real life update, that's what we're looking like. Um, this little, kind of almost like a drip looking thing. I have one on each side. <laughs> Try not to show you way too much. Um, I have one on each side. Those are for my drains. So that's where my drains were. Um, my drains were in, I told you guys this in another video, my drains were in for way longer than seven to 10 days. This side was in for um, three and a half weeks. This side was in for four weeks and a day. So it was just a lot of time. But yeah, so that's what we look like. That's what we look like currently from the side. Hang on. Yeah, and then just <laughs> to give you like a normal, because of how low my pants just were, my underwear usually is like right there. So like your bikini is right there. So I've had my pants up pretty high today, but like for some perspective, my scar, um, the only thing you would really see, right, is this part. Like that's it. Everything else, my, um, my like panties or my um, swimsuit would cover. So obviously we're not there yet, but yeah, that's what six months looks like. In la la la. That is what six months looks like in terms of like progress and swelling and all of that. Um, you can see, like, I'm really happy with my obliques right now because they're really starting to get, come through despite the swelling. Um, what, something else I think is really nice. I, so I work out like a lot and I do a lot of cardio, which cardio will make you swell. If you do ab workouts, I've started doing abs. Abs feel like really hard and you swell. So just be mindful that when you start to get better and like they start letting you work out and they start letting you do things like that, your swelling will increase. Don't freak out because that little pudge that you get, that little like belly, it looks like it's coming back. It's okay, right? Like it's it comes with the territory, it's totally normal. So it's just something really worth mentioning to you. Um, I tell myself, like I can feel my, my muscles getting stronger, I can feel my legs coming back and my stomach and my arms and that kind of stuff. So it's easier for me to remind myself of that. The other reason though is because I've done this before. I used to be in really good shape. I'm used to, I'm used to having muscle fatigue. I'm used to having like lactic acid built up in my muscles. I remember these feelings. So it's kind of easy for me to place them, but if you maybe aren't or whatever, it's just helpful information to have just to keep you reassured that you're on the right track, right? But yeah, so six months, we're here. And then from this side, we're here. So, and I'm not, like I'm curvy. So like I'm not somebody who is built like a rail. I will never be somebody who's built like that. I, it takes a fucking miracle for me to lose weight. Um, I am busting my ass right now. And it is still like, oh my God, it is painful how hard, like I lose maybe a half a pound a week on average. And when you are in a painful caloric deficit, working out as hard as I am, the last thing you wanna see is that slow of a movement on the scale. So it's just, it's like a long ass marathon mental exercise. One that I don't necessarily, you know, recommend to anybody, but it's my life, so whatever. But yeah, so that's what six months looks like.